Hi, I'm Lucille Zimmerman, and yesterday I started a series on personality disorders. Feel free to go back and look at my first clip, and there's going to be a really good overview about what personality disorders are. Um, just a quick reminder that a personality disorder is a very ingrained way of seeing the world. It's a person's lens, and it's usually a very childlike, immature way of, of dealing with the world. Uh, and there's lots of reasons you can go back to the original video and, and look at that. But the number one way to know that you're dealing with a personality disorder is to notice the way that you feel. Um, when, again, one of my supervisors told me that um, one of the best ways to know that you're dealing with a personality disorder is if you start to feel crazy. Um, so what they're, what they're going to do is repeatedly behave a certain way um, in order to hook you or get you to try to do something. Um, try, so today we're going to be talking about passive aggressive behavior and that is one of the only ones I'm going to be talking about that is not in the DSM-4, which is the counselor's Bible or psychologist's Bible. Um, but I want you to think about Marie in Everybody Loves Raymond and how she looks sweet and um, loving, but she's also very underhanded and very conniving. That's passive aggressive. So again, with personality disorders, these people have not learned how to use adult skills. Again, we've probably all done passive aggressive things or done um, things that would remind us of personality disorders, but it doesn't mean that we have that disorder. Um, so get, go ahead and go back to that first video for more on that. So in summary, I just want to remind you that people with personality disorders don't typically change. It's a very, very ingrained way of seeing the world. It starts in early childhood. It solidifies in early adulthood. So again, the passive aggressive person or the blamer is usually um, negative, oppositional, fault finding, undermining, always arguing about something. They're always singling themselves out as the victim in a very uncaring world. They're aggressive but they're also underhanded and indirect. They don't know how to express themselves directly. So when you're dealing with someone who's passive aggressive, you're going to feel angry and you're going to feel guilty. Again, the way you know you're dealing with someone is to monitor your own feelings. Think of the person in the movie theater you're trying to walk across and he stretches out his legs and then when you say excuse me and try to walk over him, he grumps or makes a remark like what's your problem? That's the passive aggressive person. They're constantly trying to bait you, demean you, or be mean. Maybe it's a business owner who owes taxes, um, and he's going to go and argue and say, oh, you know, I, I'm in such a sorry situation, and maybe I'm suicidal, and maybe I'm misunderstood, and I'm such a victim in an uncaring world. But he's the one that bought the business. Um, so if you try to point that out to the guy, he's going to just blame you. They seek out your help and they put you in an authority position, but remember, they don't want your help. They just want to bash you. Um, I'm thinking of a client that called my daughter recently at work and they wait until after five o'clock to call. And if you're not there to pick up the phone, then they call the head of your company to report the fact that you weren't there to take their call. Um, in a business world, these people, like in the work world, they're often late. If you confront them on it and say, you know, why are you late? They say, well, what are you going to do? Just stand here and scream all day instead of letting me get to work? So they're always going to turn it around on you. Their primary goal is to provoke you and hook you. So just some um, things that you can remember with uh, personality disorder is you cannot change them. Do not expect them to change. Do not allow them to make you angry. Do not lose control. Don't feel guilty. Rely on them to do um, what they say, or don't, don't rely on them to do what they say, and don't ever expect that you're going to get them to look at their behavior because they're not. So here's what you can do, is you can expect no change. You can be firm and observe their behavior. Notice how you feel. You can step out of their game, and you can notice how they're trying to hook you. And again, there really is no right way except to try to stay out of their dance um, because no matter what you do, you're not going to change their behavior. You can remind yourself you're being provoked. You can assert yourself. You can be silent or you can play the failure and go, you're right, I'm awful, and walk away. Um, think, or say thank you for being so good. Um, 
But if you confront them and try to tell them what they're like, it's just going to get worse. So here are a couple scenarios to know about a passive-aggressive person. Think about Marie on Everybody Loves Raymond. Maybe she calls her daughter-in-law and lets her know, oh, we're having a party and everyone's going to be there and you don't need to come, but it's just going to be awful if you're not there. Um, here's another scenario. Um, maybe someone is, at, is trying to go to their Weight Watchers class and the husband is insecure that his wife is going to leave him. So he purposely picks her up and makes her stand in the rain for half an hour after every meeting. Um, have you ever had someone call you up and say, well, I'm just going to be sitting by the phone waiting for you to call, just in case you call? Or um, maybe here's a scenario. Cindy called her best friend Gina three days after her surgery and said, why didn't you come and visit me? And your response would be like, oh, well, if you had told me you were having surgery, I would have stopped by. They assume that you're going to know and feel sorry for them. Um, let's see. Here's another one. Judy wants to paint the living room. Her husband says, no, let's wait till summer. So Judy loads too many books on the shelf, which causes it to come crashing down and then goes, oops, I guess we'll have to paint now. Uh, here's another one. Is Abby is at a Bible study. Clyde likes her, but he doesn't directly tell her. He waits till he overhears her saying she's going to Sonic, and then he happens to just drop by. Um, here's some passive-aggressive statements. You wouldn't want to watch my kids, would you? Or... I'm homesick now. I guess I'll just wait and see if you call. Or, don't feel like you have to come to the party. But if you don't, you're going to be the only relative who's not there. As you hear those sentences, what do you feel like inside? Pay attention to that. So again, real quickly, get rid of your guilt. You're never going to change these people. Don't ever try to like shame them or blame them because they're never going to hear it. Um, you can be direct and say, it seems like you're angry. Please tell me about it. Um, so again, these are just a few quick tips. One more really is to quit seeking their approval and then try to ask yourself what it is about you that you're such a people pleaser. And that really is a developmental moon, um, wound. It means that we're trying to get our identity from others. So maybe if you, if you struggle with that, go see a counselor and work on that. Um, don't ever try to have a deep relationship with someone who's passive-aggressive because that would require a level of intimacy that they don't have. Um, if you confront them, get a witness, um, focus on your own behavior, and remember, they're not a victim, they're just acting like one. Bye-bye.